Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Traveling Gun. My name is Thomas. I'm a regional flight attendant. For those who are new, be sure to subscribe to my returning subscribers. Please, I do appreciate the support. Today is another four day trip. I think I have one more trip that for the end of April and it goes into May. And we're on we're the last week of April and I'm still wearing this cardigan uh, zippo because the weather is just it's it's just mixed down here. It's still kind of cool um, in the mornings and even throughout the day. We we haven't even cracked the 80s, so it's still um, it's still kind of cool down this way in Atlanta. But today is a very easy day. This trip is sort of easy. I don't really start making my money on this trip until the third day. Today's just one leg and I'm done before 11. And then tomorrow is only two legs and I'm done before one. But the third day, I think I have four or five legs. So that's where I really make the bulk of this, the hours for this trip is because I have so many legs on that particular day. But I just go from Atlanta to Roanoke, which I've done this, I think earlier this month already, just the one leg, um, you know, pretty simple 55 minute flight, if, if that, maybe an hour at max. And, um, and then I'm done. You know, I have a lot of things that I need to do. I do need to finish LMS for, um, it's not, it doesn't, it's not due till May, but I just kind of want to, you know, end of May, I just want to kind of get that out the way and not have to worry about that anymore. Plus we do get paid for doing the LMS too as well. So I want to kind of hurry up and get that out the way so I don't have to worry about it. But other than that, I'm going to get ready and try to wait on this shuttle and I'll see you guys once I get to run up today. Hello everybody, I made it here to Roanoke and today's flight was very uneventful. Nothing actually happened. It's a smooth flight with the exception of coming in. It's always going to be bumpy because of the mountains and stuff like that when we're coming into Roanoke. Uh, flying partner is very great. She's been here the same amount of time as I have, five years. And this morning on the shuttle, I had my headphones on, but somebody, I saw somebody mouth to me to say, you know, they said good morning and they said my name. And I was looking at her like, I don't know who she is. And you know, normally I recognize faces if we work together, whether it's one time, one leg, I still remember your face. So I don't know who she is. If you watch my videos, I do apologize because I didn't recognize you um, this morning. So yeah, um, other than that, that's, that's all I have for today. I'm gonna finish some LMSs today. Like I said, I need to do that and make some phone calls because it is the business week so I can get in touch with some people to make appointments for stuff and uh, things like that. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for my 615 van. Good morning, everybody. Today is day two of four. Um, today is just a two-leg day. Go from Roanoke to LaGuardia, LaGuardia to Grand Rapids. And I'm supposed to be done by, I think, 11, one o'clock or 12, I'm not for sure um, today, but it's just a two-leg day. Uh, last night, yesterday, I didn't tell y'all this, but the day before on my off day, I slept literally all day. I woke up and I was like, man, I'm still tired. I went right back to sleep. You know, sometimes you have to listen to your body. And last night I did that too. Yesterday I was sitting up at my, uh, at the desk, you know, on my computer doing work. And then I was like, man, I'm tired. Let me go down and go to sleep. And I did, and I over slept too long. So I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. So I didn't really go to bed until like one and I had to get up four hours later. So sometimes it's good to listen to your body. Sometimes it's not, especially, in this case with mom, when I don't, you know, when I take a nap and uh, and sleep too long, but you know, it is what it is, just a two leg day, so I can push through all that. Um, but I'll see you guys once I get to Grand Rapids, and if anything changes, I'll keep you updated. Everybody made it here to Grand Rapids. Today's flights were very uneventful today. Um, with the exception of we were like number 50 to taxi out of LaGuardia today. But other than that, it was just an easy two leg day. Um, it's a freeze warning here, it's really too cold for this. And we're almost in May for it to be a freeze warning. But other than that, I'm finna take a nap because it's a little bit before one and I'm gonna get up, go work out. And I have a 440 van in the morning but tomorrow is the long day. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for day 
three. Good morning, everybody. Today is day three of four. Um, a longer day today. I have four legs. I go from Grand Rapids to LaGuardia, LaGuardia to Greensboro, Greensboro back to LaGuardia, then to Binghamton today. And then I'm done about two o'clock. So today is going to be a longer day. Um, I have about two minutes um, to get to the front lobby for the van. I was scrolling on the internet, kind of got lost and lost track of time. So that's why I'm not speaking to you in the room, but I'll see you guys a little bit later on once I get to Binghamton. Hey everybody, I made it here to Binghamton. Today's four flights were very uneventful. Today went by faster than I expected. Our longest flight was an hour and 25 minutes. It wasn't Grand Rapids to LaGuardia. It was LaGuardia to Greensboro. And uh, yeah, so it wasn't that bad as I thought it was gonna be because it was, you know, longer legs because we had one leg the first day, two legs the second day. And I was like, hey, man, this, this is gonna be the killer because it's the longest day that we do have but um it wasn't that bad that i then than what i thought it was and another funny thing is we were signing in for our hotel rooms and i went last and you know we could see everybody's uh, employee id numbers I said it's crazy that my employee id number is the highest out of everybody from the captain the fo and my flying partner so i'm the more senior person out of the whole crew which is really really wild but it's going to be expected because a lot of our pilots are going over to mainline through a flow that they do have so it's going to be a lot of more newer people um starting to be captains and fo's and things like that as they just trying to keep them coming through the door but other than that tomorrow is an early 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 report i have to be at the airport by 4 30 our van time is at 4.10, so that means I have to get up at least by 3.10 to give myself an hour. So I'm going to, I don't want to work out, but I'm going to push myself to go at least jog and come back up here, finish off my LMS because I'm almost done, and get into bed real early tomorrow. And I'll see you guys for day four. Good morning, everybody. Today is go home day. It's actually two legs. We go from Binghamton to LaGuardia. LaGuardia to Cincinnati and I'm hoping that we can leave LaGuardia early to get to Cincinnati early so I can try to catch the earlier flight to get home even though I still get home before 12 o'clock anyways instead of having an hour and what I think almost a two hours sit in between um I slept really well last night um it got hot in this room even though I didn't have the heat on nor the air on I just turned it off and it said that the the room got up to like 77 degrees I'm trying to figure out how is that possible when it's 50 to 40 to 43 degrees outside or something like that um but and i woke up sweating in the middle of the night so um other than that you know it's early it's not even four o'clock yet and i have a 410 van i'm finna get ready and sweep the room one more time just to make sure i don't leave anything and i'll see you guys once i get home to close out the video Hello everybody, I finally made it back to my um, car. Uh, today was very eventful. Um, the flights were very uneventful, but my dead head back from Cincinnati kept getting pushed back, kept getting pushed back, kept getting pushed back. So I ended up um, getting home about four o'clock today. I was supposed to be back by 12 something. Now I'm back about four. And originally, um, I just saw, you know, it originally was delayed before we even started today. So it got pushed back like maybe 45 minutes. Then as I'm sitting in Cincinnati, you know, I'm watching um, Hulu. Next thing I know, I started seeing people getting up, going to the counter. And that's when I saw it kept getting further delayed. But there was another flight from Cincinnati to Atlanta that was gonna leave before it. So I called crew scheduling and say, hey, our deadheads keep getting delayed, but there's another flight that's leaving you know, prior to that, can you put, put, book me on it? And they did because they're obligated, since I'm not working and it's not an IROP situation, they're obligated contractually to get us back close to our original time as possible. Um, and if there were, we were in a different outstation, I probably would have tried to get on another airline to go there. Like if we was in Charlotte, I would have tried to get on American to get to Atlanta, which I've done before when that has happened to me. But in the end, it is what it is. It, it happens that way. But, you know, go home day delays are the worst because you're just trying to go home. But I'm off for a couple of days and then I start another four day and it's a new month. So 
I'll see you guys in the next vlog. As always, hug on the ones that you love. Tell the ones that you love that you love them. I'm out.